Oh yeah, a couple of packages to go out and let's go ahead and check the P.O. box once again. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and we've got seven packages today to open. We've got one from Eric S, one from Big Flip, one from Southern Wildflower, one from MCH, Lion TV, Oscar Alcaraz, and Gage W. We'll get these packages partially opened. We'll go through them one at a time. Remember, in the video description and in my first pinned comment, I'll have any links to any of the channels for anyone that has sent me a package. Please make sure you check out their channel, subscribe to their content, check out a few of the videos if you can, and after that it's up to you. But that being said, let me get these open. We'll start with the envelope first, then we'll go into the manila envelopes, then we'll get into the Lion TV's package, and we'll finish off with Oscar Alcaraz's box. Let's get it going. All right, first package is from Gage W. Gage W. I don't know if there's a screen name in here. Got it opened up. He just wrote Gage. Open on vid Gage. I've already cracked it open. And uh, we'll definitely do that, Gage. Appreciate the package. Let's see what goodies we got in here today. All right. We'll start with the pennies here. This first one's a 2017D. 2017D, I think he gave me 2017Ds. I love 2017Ds to look at under the scope. So I really appreciate you sending me a bunch of them. Perfect, I'll take a look at those. We also got what appears to be a Canadian, 1982. I'll add that to my collection. And then we've got a nickel here. It looks like it's a Philadelphia Mint, 1953. Gage. Thank you for your package, good sir. I'm gonna have a lot of fun checking these for any varieties or errors. I love Canadian scents. I'm putting together an album as we speak. And then of course, you know I love myself some 50s and 40s nickels and you didn't uh, let me down on that one. Really appreciate the package, Gage. I'll put this to the side. Guys, if I have a link to his channel, I'll leave it below. I wanna remind everyone since there's no information in this package, please make sure you include your YouTube name if you'd like to be properly shouted out so I can put a link to your channel below. Outside of that, thank you again, Gage. Now let's move on to the Manila envelopes. First uh, envelope we're gonna open is from Midwest Coin Hunter. If you guys don't know about his uh, live streams and his videos, please check him out. Terrence is a good guy. He does live streams once a week, sometimes twice. He's got a great channel for silver hunting and dimes and half dollars. He recently posted a pretty sweet penny video where he included his family. I love when he include kids in the videos. Midwest Coin Hunter, looking forward to this. Now, I donated to one of his live streams. I won some coins. I went ahead and donated most of the winnings to the uh, free giveaway, but I did keep a couple of the coins for myself just so that I had something to feature on my giveaway or on my shout outs to a Midwest Coin Hunter. But he writes, thank you so much for being part of the YouTube live stream that was held on Sunday, August 25th. Your participation and support for the channel with your subscription and donation is greatly appreciated. You know what, Terrence, I love watching your channel, so no problem whatsoever. Enclosed is the coin or coins that you won either from the giveaways or through the rolls of coins open for you because of your donation. I hope to see you again in my next live stream. Wish you the best. Thanks again, Midwest Coin Hunter. All right, so let me go and get this guy open and we'll see what we got inside. Check it out, guys. Nothing's wrong with a 1964 Denver Mint. 90% silver half dollar. Beautiful. Midwest Coin Hunter, thank you very much. I'll include your channel uh, information down below. I'm sure you guys are subscribed to him, but he's on the road to a thousand, so let's make sure we check out his channel, sub him up. Next up is another live stream I participated in from Big Flip, and uh, he had an epic package for me. He had picked up some um, $15 packages from his local coin shop, and I'll be honest, watching his live stream, these packages were ridiculous. 
Mine didn't disappoint either, but everyone who got one of these packages scored big time. Let's get into it. It's gonna be hard to get everything out of here, guys. It's pretty packed tight, which is always a good thing on packages. Just dump the contents out here and show you what I got. First and foremost, ooh, it's gonna be a beauty. MS66 Red, 1958 Wheat Penny. Unbelievable. It's been graded by PCI. Wow. Sorry about the glare. <clears throat> That's a beautiful coin. MS66. Next up, we got a 1928D Extra Fine Wheat Penny. That might upgrade my album for sure. We also won the State Quarter Set. Check it out. Proof Set, U.S. Mint, 2005. We got Kansas, California, Minnesota, Oregon, and West Virginia. Love getting proof sets. Unbelievable, guys. Look at this. An 1866 Indian head penny. Yeah, it's in a little rough shape, but there's less than 10 million of these minted. So I will definitely take this all day. This is a $50 coin in good four condition. It's not quite in good four, but still, what a nice penny. I don't have my oldest... Indian head is 1878, I believe. So that's now my oldest Indian head scent. We also got a Buffalo nickel. Looks like it could be a 1926 Philadelphia. <clears throat> Let's check it under the microscope, see if we can make out the date a little bit better. It might be 1929. <clears throat> now that I look at it, it could be 1929 still. Awesome buffalo nickel for sure. And then, check it out, a 42 mercury dime. Philadelphia mint, beautiful. Got some good column detail on it as well. So, I know you guys probably know Big Flip as well, but please make sure you check out his live streams. He does live streams every Sunday. He also has videos. I'm a big time subscriber and a fan. Hopefully you are as well, if you're not, Check out his channel, link down below. Subscribe, you won't be disappointed. Now we're gonna move on a package from Southern Wildflower. That's her screen name, so excited to get into that one. She was uh, alerting me that she sent me a package. I got it, can't wait to see what's in it. All right, Southern Wildflower. That, ooh, we got, a, we got a roll of pennies. All right, let me open this up and see what we got inside. All right, guys, we've got a great package from Southern Wildflower. Let me go ahead and start off with the wheat pennies that I can find here and here. We got a 1912 Philadelphia, a 1917, hard to make out the date, but under the microscope, it's a 1917 S, a 1917 Philadelphia, 1918 Philly, a 1919 S, another 1919 S, a 1919 yeah, it's an S. Another 1919S as well. We got a 1920 Philly, a 1920 Philly, a 1930S, a 1930D, another 1930S, a 34 Philly, a 35 Philly, a 37 Philly, a 44S, a 46S, a 50S, a 51S, a 52S, 53S, and another 53S. Unbelievable. On top of that, she also sent a couple of steel cents, a 43 Philly and a 43 Denver. As far as other nice wheat scents, she gave me a 45D, a 54S, and a 55S. And these things, I'll give you an example of this 55S for you, if I can pull it out of here. Look at the condition. Unbelievable. These things, I put these three up here because they're such in great shape. She also sent me, looks like a 62 proof. A 62 proof and uh, they made them out of Philadelphia that year, less than four million minted. And then onto the nice uh, scent she also sent, a 74D, a 70S, a 69D, 
Oh, I'm sorry. A 69S. A 68S. A 68S. Another 68S. Another 68S. Another 68S. A 66 Philly. 63 Denver. 60 Denver. 60 Denver. 60 Denver. And a beautiful 59 Philadelphia. And she also included, for good measure, 10 2009s. All in ridiculous shape. Unbelievable Southern Wildflower. Guys, check out her channel. She sent me a ridiculous package. Can't wait to check out these weed scents against what I have in my albums and see if I can update some. Thank you very much. Your package is awesome. Southern Wildflower. All right, next up is from Eric S. Let's see what Eric sent us today. Ooh, all kinds of goodies. Holy cow. All right, guys, Eric S. is actually Coin Slacker. He has sent me a package of four. Make sure you check out his channel. He's been part of the community for a while. Thank you very much, Coin Slacker. Let's see what he sent me. He writes, hello, Rob Fines Treasure. I wanted to send you another package for your collection. Happy hunting from Coin Slacker. Here's the list. A half pound of world coins. We'll be checking those out for sure. A 1976 S-proof Lincoln scent. Unbelievable. 1866 Low Mint Indian. Oh, I got another one right there. We'll take that. Less than 10 million minted. No date copper nickel Indian. That must be this one right here. Somewhere between 1860 and 1864. A 1913 S Low Mint Type 1 Buffalo. Up there. Oh, that's awesome. Two counterfeit gold pieces. They're not gold. You know what? That's pretty cool, though, actually. Look at that. And they're stamped. I like that. That's something different for sure. Uh, 1960 Proof Quarter PF67 NGC. Wow. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. And two Indians, an 03 and an 08. And that's these here. So let's just take a quick look at the counterfeit ones again. That's really cool. Curious how you pick those up. I'll be putting those as part of the collection. Here's that 13 type 1, 13S. We had to nick date it, but that's okay because we got to figure out what it was. And I think I need that for my collection. Here's that proof penny again, 76. Hard to find uh, proof pennies. That's a good condition as well. We got a 1908 Indian head. Good detail. A 1903 as well. Good detail to that one. We've got this 1860 to 64 Indian head. It's got some corrosion, but you know what? I don't have those years at all. And <clears throat> we just got one from Big Flip, but I got a second 1866 Indian head penny. Pretty cool. And then we've got the half pound bag of world coins. Let me get this opened up. We'll point out a few of them. There's a lot in there because it's half a pound. But we'll see what kind of goodies we got. <laughs> Look at all these world coins, guys. I'm just going to pan over them. If you see something that I need to pull out that's worth mentioning, let me know. And we'll, we'll uh, definitely do that. But let's just take a look at some of these ones. Unbelievable. Look at all these goodies. Holy cow. There's some in here that I do have, but maybe not the year that I had that he sent me. And there's some in here I've never seen. So excited to get these into my World Coins collection. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Coin Slacker. What a great package. Four Indians. Two counterfeit gold, which is still cool. A 13 Type 1S Buffalo Proof. A beautiful PF67 1960 Proof Quarter. And a half a pound of world coins. Thank you very much, Coin Slacker. Love your packages. Love your channel. Check them out, guys. Check them out. All right, next up is from Lion TV. Lion TV sent me a envelope here. Let's take a look inside. I already looked inside to make sure I eliminated any information that I should. We've got some coins and a letter. Let's go ahead and check out the letter. All right, guys, Lion TV writes, Hey, Rob Finds Treasure. I'm a big fan of yours, and I have seen all of your videos, and thanks for trading coins with me. I also threw in some other coins. Thanks for all you do, Rob. 
You inspired me to penny hunt once again. Thanks for all you do from Lion TV. All right, guys. Lion TV has sent me some coins. Let's take a look at the coins that he sent in. He said he threw in a few extra goodies. Let's take a look at the first one. We've got a Philadelphia Mint Buffalo Nickel. 1927. Awesome. Ooh, a V-Nickel. A V-Nickel. 1911 V-Nickel. And I believe it is... Philadelphia Mint. Beautiful. We also got another Buffalo here. A 1920 Philadelphia. Beautiful. And then, oh, check it out. 1893. Or it could be 1898. Let me just double check. 1898. All right. 1898 on the Indian head. Man, I got a lot of Indian heads today. This is so cool. I love Indian head pennies. Lion TV. Man, I'm a fan of yours as well. I'll trade with you anytime. Thanks for the package, brother. Beautiful coins. Appreciate it. I'll include your link to your channel down below. Final package, guys, is from Oscar Alcaraz. Let's go ahead and get it open. All right. Sounds like there's a lot in there. Oscar Alcaraz. Bonus coin, open last, all right? Wow, a whole pack, a whole pack of envelopes. Now I'm super excited. Oscar writes, hello Rob, I hope you find, I hope this package finds you well. Over the past few months, I've really enjoyed watching your videos. Keep them up. I've been collecting wheat cents for as long as I remember. I pretty much held on to every coin that looked different. I would say it's been just about 35 years now, wow. In this package, I've added some coins and I hope you like them. Each small envelope has a number on it. And on another page, I wrote the small description of what's inside. Keep up the good work, Oscar. Oscar's collection on YouTube. Okay, Oscar's collection. Make sure we check out his channel. I'll have it down below. Here's a list of what he sent me for fun. Let's not read the list yet. Let's go ahead and get these uh, envelopes set up and see what's in them. All right, we've got the first four envelopes open. The first set here, guys, uh, he wrote that he had found a whole roll of 74 cents, all BU condition, and he decided to give me a few of them. Look at those coins. Unbelievable. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Number two was 05 nickels. He got them from a bank 13 years ago, and he decided to finally open them up. He gave me a couple of the Buffalo-backed 05s, and the Ocean View backed. And there you go. Beautiful. Package three is the 43 Steel Scent Set PD and S. Beautiful. And then the fourth package is a 43 uh, Steel Scent that has a week four, he says. A week four strike. Yeah. Pretty cool. So that's the first four. Now we're on to the next four. Wow, Oscar's collection, they keep getting better. He's got uh, three Canadian pennies that he found coin roll hunting in package five. Package six is some coins that he picked up from a local coin shop. Look at this, three King George the sixth and a young head. He's got a 37 Mexican coin, a 49 other foreign coin, I haven't checked it yet, and some other goodies as well, some older years, so cool. Then he also got me some a 62 and a 66. And those are Mexican pesos. And those are 10% silver. 10% silver. Beautiful. And then, as if it wasn't enough, in package eight, he sent me three large one ounce copper rounds with the Walking Liberty design. Beautiful. Unbelievable. We still have two more packages and the bonus coin, so let's get those set up. All right, guys, continuing on with packages nine and 10. Package nine, he said, is a large US scent, heavy damage, can't make out the date. Let's take a look at this. It does have some heavy, heavy damages, for sure, damaging. It is definitely a largey. And let me take a look at this bust for a second. All right, so it's got kind of a slim bust. And it looks like it's the younger head version. So I know there's no date on it. And I'm not an expert on largies. But I think 
based on what I'm seeing on the design and in the hair back here, I think this might be the young head modified design, the 1835 to 1839 large scent. I'm guessing, but that looks like it. Maybe you guys know more about largies than I do, but that looks like an 1835 to 1839 large scent. It is actually my first large scent. So Oscar, you have given me my first large scent for my collection. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He also threw in package 10, and I won't go through these for sake of time, but a whole bunch of random wheat pennies with some S mints in there as well. So I'll have fun sorting through these guys and uh, taking a look at them and see if they upgrade my collection or just to add them to the collection as well. Thank you very much, Oscar. Now let's open up the bonus coin. Holy moly, guys. Check out this bonus coin. It is a 1909 Lincoln scent. I checked it for the VDB just to make sure it's not, but the condition is fantastic. <laughs> what a bonus coin. 1909 even has some of the detailing. Sorry, it's in the package. I don't want to take it out just yet, but it has some detailing on the weed ears. Unbelievable. Oscar, epic package, man. That's crazy. Matter of fact, look at all these packages. It's going to take me a good hour to two hours to have fun putting these back into the collection, sorting through them. So cool. <sighs> Man. Let me go ahead and round up the people who sent packages again this week. We got a package from Gage. Gage, thank you very much. Midwest Coin Hunter and Big Flip from your live streams. Thank you again as well. Southern Wildflower. Unbelievable. Beautiful package you sent. A lot of good wheat pennies to go through. A lot of good AU type coins as well. We got a package from Coin Slacker once again. An epic amount of coins. Thanks for your support, brother. We got another package here from Lion TV. Great coins. A couple of good Buffalo nickels. A V nickel that I wanted. And another Indian head. And then to top it all off, Oscar Alcaraz with Oscar's collection sent me a ridiculous package. I'm, I'm at a loss of words here, guys. The support for the community is great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed my content. I try to record my finds in a way that makes them personal and fun for you so that you have some inspiration to go look as well. I don't always find the good stuff, and I most certainly don't find some of the most valuable stuff, but the stuff I find is fun for me, and I'm hoping that it's fun for you. It seems like it. Once again... I'll have everyone's channel descriptions down below in the link, as well as my pinned comment. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent packages this week. <sighs> that being said, I want you guys to have a happy and safe Labor Day weekend. Spend some time with the family and the coins if you want. If you enjoyed this episode of the Sunday Shoutout Mail Call series, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. <laughs>